Hi, I'm Darren and this is Orn. Today we're doing a little tour. We're gonna to go and explore an island on the other side of the river there. Let's go and get on a boat. Hello. Go, go, go. Where? Yes, over there? Yeah. Boat here? Yeah. Okay. And we're off. Okay. 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 Up and up. We're at the pier, and this guy's got a three-wheel motorbike. Okay. Condi. Okay. Bye, Lloyd. Up. All right. Found a tour already. ไปรอบเกาะอ่ะค่ะครับเท่าไหร่อ่ะครับเกาะก็ 300 around 2 hours yeah okay food And it is a Muslim village, street food just here. Yes, sorry, Carl. It's the stuff the bees want something there. You can see there that there are sorry, Carl. Sorry, Carl. Lots, I'm good, thank you. Sorry, my Carl. Sorry, Carl. Lots of guys here with motorbikes, ready to go for tours. They're pretty easy to find. There's our man up there. Okay. It's a nice little comfortable motorbike, nearly new, padded seats. Road's a bit bumpy. Footbon, a local soccer field. Gas station island style, self-service. You just put your coins in and fill her up. This is real village life in Thailand. The island here isn't very touristy at all, but there is a resort here that you can stay on. There's also a number of homestay places too. It is very traditional. It's a Muslim community. There's no alcohol on the island, no pork and it's said that there's no crime here. There's also no cars, motorbikes only. Island's also said to be the birthplace of the long tail boats that are quite famous in Thailand. Okay, we've come to an intersection. Which way are we going? Goats out there, lots of chickens around here. Rice fields here with buffaloes grazing out there. The rice here is very famous. There's only two places in Thailand where they grow the type of rice that's grown here. The car. Super relaxing here for chickens. Chickens here generally are used for fighting, I believe. The car. Sure, eh? 
Sing. 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 To sing. Yim loi kap. Sing yim loi. Kap and kap. Oh, here's the rice here. So this is the famous Goklang rice. Lady here is sorting the rice. You guys here playing some sort of checkers? <laughs> yep. This is certainly village life. Okay, stop for some gas. Take some notes. You find these all over the place on the sides of roads in Thailand if you rent motorbikes. Pay a bit more than at the gas stations, but they're very handy. First stop, it's the wrong shop. Oh top, handmade in Krabby. Bloody cap. Handmade sarongs there. That one is uh, beautiful. It's quite a nice pattern. Mm -hmm. Boy shirts as well. Mm. They do look nice. Um, it seems it's an award winning shop. We've also got some other little jewelry and stuff there silverware, earrings, and stuff. You want to paint? I want to paint. I'm not much of a painter. You want to paint? You're more artistic than I am. One does like that one. It does look very beautiful. On the road again. Wow, wall to hold back the ocean there. Tsunami money. Yeah. Oh, tsunami wall. Said the tsunami hit here. Some islands out there I can see. Boxes. House for what? Oh. B. Peng. Peng. Okay, a bee house. Recently found out I've been saying that word wrong for years. I've been saying Pung. But no. Peng. Peng. Let's go check out the bee house. Handcrafted goods there. Eh? I can't see the bees. No, not going near. I can see a lot of bees there. Very small bees. A lot smaller than European honeybee. Bee chart in. Mangrove tree. Mangrove honey. Growing hansi. Mm. Smells strange compared to normal honey. Ah. Mm, it almost smells. Right, alcohol. Okay, might as well try that, I guess. So that's the bee farm. That's great. Getting a bit peckish. Starting to regret not stopping at that little street food stall where we first got off over the bridge. Hungry. Mm. Mm, 
something. Fried banana, yeah? Okay, from Jaya Bay. All right. Getting a bit peckish, so. Stop at a little street food place. Fried banana and potato. Oh man, cup. Man? You see bad? Yeah. Yes? One bad fish. Fried sweet potato. She's also got fried banana. Oh, how are you doing? How do I do? I? Uh, okay, sip ha ha cup. Cup. Thank you. I put my cup. A little snack for the road. Okay. How much? You sip? 20 bars. Let's try it out. Piece of sweet potato. Mm, yum. Okay. At the school. I wonder if the motorbikes are for the kids or for the teachers. I am teacher. Okay, I'll be teacher. Our Rihanna like up. Rian Pasatai or Rian Angry? I like up. Put down quack up. Angry? Yes. Okay, how are you? I am fine, thank you. What grade are you? Are you Pratom 1, Pratom 2, Pratom 3, Pratom 4, Pratom 6? Yes. And you learn English? Pratom 6. You learn English? Hello, YouTube. Okay. Good. All right. Hapun kap. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hapun makab. <laughs> Hapun kab. Well, that is a bit of an experience. All right. I still have some potato left. No. Am I? Cup. Indie cup. Try the banana. Looks good. Well, that was a bit different to the schools that I've taught at here. Generally used to the kids having pretty good command of English. It looks like we might be coming to the end of the road. Oh. Now, what have we got? A fishing shack. Yep. End of the road. The lagoon. Ah, oh, Jingo. Ah, the boat lagoon is out there. We came here a few weeks ago to the boat lagoon over there. A little pier here. Up. Another local project shop. The boat builder. Little handmade boats and other knickknacks. Oh, little key rings with long tail boats. So what do you come? Different boats sizes and different prices. Wow, that one's impressive. Sailing boats. What's that? Yes. Send them in our name too. A bowl. Yeah, a fruit bowl. Okay. 
50 baht, you know. Oh, if I check what I am. Original cigarette lighter. I was here once before and checked these out. They're from Palm. Mm. Mm, wood shavings. Put them on the end there. Take it down. Oh, that was an awesome trip. Thank you, Bang Poon. Come and see Bang Poon if you want a tour. Okay, bye bye, Kap. Feeling a bit hungry. We want to eat. Maybe. Try. Kautomma. Kanom Tian. Okay, Tarai Kap. Ah, bad. Alright, try one of them within the budget. Right, a little snack for the way home. Try this out. Looks like a stick of glutinous rice. Looks a bit like Kanam Jack. Mm. It's very sticky and gelatinous. Doesn't really have much flavor. A little bit sweet. Not bad, I guess. Five baht, you can't go wrong. Back at the pier, that's a tour of Koh Klang. Took us two hours, 400 baht for that, 200 baht per hour. There's some other stuff that you can do here as well, like check out the fish farm. I've shown you that in the past, so we didn't bother with it today. But it's also really easy to get your motorbikes on. If you've got a motorbike, and come over from Krabby Town. It's about 10 kilometers to the other end of the island. So a bit of fun exploring the island under your own steam as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.